hell is that? This crude contraption will allow you to transport the remains of our master. Can you not simply raise the remains when we find them? Pardon, Lord, but a being of Kel Guzard's power can only be reanimated at a nexus of powerful lay energies, and there are no such places in this land. Very well, then. Let's move out. I don't know why Earth is surprised to see the meat wagons. He had destroyed a number of them in the human campaign. But whatever. Finally. This is more like it. Now, Arthas, after having gone and sort of pulled together the cult of the damned, or what was left of it, for the Lich King. Champions of Peace has gone and, uh, <laughs> shit, did I hurt one of my, no, has go and now has to go and, um, resurrect Kel'Thuzad, the necromancer that had spread the plague to begin with, who, worthy of noting that Arthas had gone and, uh, had killed. <laughs> what is it now? Ah, crap. No one orders me around. None of corpses. Tread lightly. Ah, they're okay. Uh, at last. This is more like it. Arthas! Stop this madness before it's too late! Stand aside, brother. I've come to collect some old bones and I don't wish to be disturbed. Finally. That was not Uther. That was some other paladin. For the Lich King. This is my life. Destroy them, the champions of peace. It is kind of weird to be playing the multiple sides of this conflict now. We would have been trying to destroy the Scourge up until this point. <laughs> now we're just sort of like, hey, let's run around and start killing humans. Catapults and that kind of thing in this game are uh, very different than the catapults you would have seen in the earlier games in the series, which were, I mean, although siege engines, siege weapons, very different. Oh, jeez, did I lose a... Must have lost a couple of grunts. I can't believe that we ever called you brother. I knew it was a mistake to accept a spoiled prince into our order. You've made a mockery of the Silver Hand. No one orders me around. We can get him. Stupid meat wagons better get up there and start attacking. We'll be doing better. Gotta put some work into making sure that my uh, guys stay alive. All right, we're we're good here. This is an ability that Undead had in uh, World of Warcraft, the ability to go and eat corpses in order to regain health. I don't know if destroying this crap is necessary. I think I just have to get Arthas up there. No one me around. Come along now, Necromancer. The powers that you once served have need of you again. Told you, my death would mean little. What the? Am I hearing ghosts now? It is I, Kel'Thuzad. I was right about you, Prince Arthas. It took you long enough. These remains are badly decomposed. 
They will never survive the trip to Quel Thalas. Quel Thalas? Yes. Only the energies of the High Elves' Sunwell can bring Kel'Thuzad back to life. Then what must be done? You must steal a very special urn from the Paladin's keeping. Place the Necromancer's remains within it, and he will be well protected for the journey. As you wish. Alright, that was only the first part of this mission. We have to go and we've gotten ourselves a much bigger force here and we can actually build a town. Building a town as part of the uh, Undead Scourge, a little bit different. We need to haunt a gold mine. We can summon, instead of like constructing, not that there's a huge difference, but summon buildings instead of just building. A crypt is our barracks. Okay, we have to wait for the necropolis to be finished being built, and then we can go and summon it. But I can get guys to help summon it, I think. Oh, nope. Doesn't work. Gonna have to just wait. Hey, we got our ghouls back. Tread lightly. I wish only to serve. Come on, now. Three paladins we have to kill in this mission. As the area grows, sort of like in Warcraft 1, in the terms of the undead, you have to go and sort of only build so far away from the other structures. Now, uh, in Warcraft 1, you had to build roads, and then build structures only by roads, but in Warcraft 2, you can basically build anywhere that there's area you can build upon. Warcraft 3, for the undead, you can only build on the blighted land, as, watch what happens... Now this area has now become blighted and we can build upon all of this area. So let's... Oh, nope. When cancel. Standing on blight, wounded undead units regenerate faster. Let's build our crypt, which is essentially our barracks. We have other crap too. Uh, as a graveyard and three ziggurats. Let's build... Ah, oh, crap. Alright. I bow to Harvesting you. gold, you use acolytes for that. Yes. They stand around the gold mine, essentially Some limiting the number of... Supply the undead army with fresh corpses. Only give you so... You can only have so many guys, obviously five, mining at any one time. Harvesting lumber is very different. Instead of having our grunt or peon or, or peon or peasant level character doing that kind of stuff you actually get the ghouls to do it the ghouls chop lumber which is weird but they'll do it in much the same way that your other characters will but they're more capable of defending themselves obviously so uh, you sort of get caught in this idea of like well should i use this ghoul to um should I use this ghoul to chop lumber, or should I put this one on defense or offense? Uh, crypt. Oh, I didn't even have to have this guy standing here. Jeez. I can get him back over here mining. Or I could have him uh, build the ziggurats. Ziggurats are the farms. Also note that the the acolytes do not have to have to return to the town hall in order to send their gold home. They just have to stand there and wave their arms. So you can gain gold faster by that method. What is it now? No one has Had I sent all my ghouls on lumber duty, I'd have a problem here defending the place. Yeah. 
tread lightly. Summoning is complete. Summoning is complete. <laughs> Eventually, ziggurats can be upgraded to the point where they can work as defensive structures. Okay, let's go set up and kill our paladins. Now the graveyard allows you to do, like the blacksmith, upgrades. Unholy armor, unholy strength. It also generates corpses around that they can use to have your ghouls sort of uh, regenerate their health. Which is the reason why I put it forward closer to the defensive edge of my town so I can more easily have ghouls retreat back to this section and restore their own health. That's what that was about. So, let's start building an army. Tread lightly. Then I'll send these things out to go and, uh... There's a corpse stuck to the end of that. That's funny. <laughs> and then I'll send my groups out to go and attack. Speak, fool. Speak, fool. It'll only take a few minutes. Upgrading the halls of the dead. I don't think I really need to, but I'm going to do it anyway. I've got all my other upgrades in hand, and I'm. Uh, gold's a bit of a limitation, but I got enough lumber, I think. Wondering if I should bother taking the meat wagons. It doesn't have a requirement that the meat wagons survive, even though one of them is supposed to be carrying the ashes of Kel'Thuzad. Research complete. Sweet. No one orders me around. Come on now. What's down here? Uh, is that the best I have? What is it now? Let's check out what's down here real quick. Not really necessary, but I did it anyway. Speak, fool. Finally. Yep, rock golem. This is more like research complete. Finally. Oh, is this just some hunger. alternate way to get into the town? Help! The this undead have like returned. Frostmorn hungers. Hmm. Ah, uh, at last. This is more like it. Oh, Stichondrius. Feast on souls. Finally. Upgrade complete. Wow, douche. This is more like it. I grow tired of waiting. Frostmorn hunger. Well then don't wait. Do something about this. Finally. Uh the halls of the dead has been built. My life for Nazul. What can we build? Our forces are under Ooh. Yes, master. What is it? Frostmorn hunger. Well, that was ill advised. No one orders me around. Low upkeep. Perfect. Tread lightly. Let's get down there and wreck that golem. No, no, not you. Get your ass up there. What is it now? You will know endless torment. Take it out. Now 
One of them can't even get in there to find a place to attack from. It's funny. This is more like it. Finally. You're paying money. How many of these are there? No, there's nothing there. <laughs> that's right, if uh, Arthas dies, that's what well, I can summon him back with. This is more like it. Ooh! Look at that guy. That's a brutal some bitch. Find the corpse and start eating it. Oh, wow. This was not working out for me. Arthas is down. <laughs> oh, man. Bring him back. Oh, man. I gotta. I just gotta. I gotta take that golem out. Not a goal. It's a mission. Or something. Halls of the Ziggurat, or Halls of the Dead, is high enough up here that it can actually work as a defensive structure on its own. So that's good. Revive that some bitch. Must be. Next attack is probably far enough in advance that I don't have to worry about that. No one orders me around. Here we go. This is more like it. Time to Frost get back to ass kicking. I hope that thing didn't regen its health. If it did, then this is gonna suck. This is more like it. Nope, it didn't. Uh, at last. Dead. Arthas levels up. This is more upgrade like death coil. Frostmorn hungers. Finally. Ah, uh, at last. Finally. Was well, there nothing over here? Frostmorn hungers. What was the purpose uh, of this? At last. I figured there'd be a gold mine or something. Frostmorn hungers. Finally. Frostmorn hungers. Must be. Must be. Our forces are under attack. Speak, fool. They'll be fine. How do I repair a meat wagon? No one orders me. Crap, I thought maybe that might be a way through. <laughs> oh well. Maybe it was just to try and gain the experience of killing that thing. Everybody back up to the top and let's start our rampage. What is it now? This is more like it. I wish only to serve. Hmm. Slaughterhouse. I gladly obey. It's for building meat wagons and abominations. Tread lightly. No one orders me around. Let's 
move forward. We'll leave that one behind. Where shall my blood be spilled? Wait for that one guy to finish building it. Or Speak repairing cool. it. Ah, at last. Your pain shall be legendary. Vile betrayer. You are fit enough to even carry your father's name. Why Utha ever vouched for you is beyond me. You've stripped him of his honor by casting yours to the winds. You deserve a gruesome death, boy. Frostborn hunter. <laughs> now the meat wagons join the party. Uh, Are these guys gonna die? Jeez. Eat up. What is it now? Tread lightly. Speak, fool. Oh, more guys up here didn't join the fight. Faithless Summoning coward. is complete. My life for Nezul. Thy will be done. Can't build an abomination. Crap. Ah, uh, what are you doing over here? The meat wagons are getting wrecked. Yeah. There's two paladins left to kill. We'll be alright. Death Coil certainly takes a while to cool down. Night. What is it now? No one orders me around. Frostmorn hungers. You will know endless. Visit. Take him out. Finally. Frostmorn hungers. A lot of villages and crap around here. Finally. For the Lich King. Ah, at last. Ah, there's that bridge on the other side of it. This is more like it. Light have mercy on you. Your betrayal has broken Uther's heart, boy. He would have given his life for yours in a second. And this is how you repay his loyalty? Dude, you look just like Uther. It's crazy. I mean, as big as a company as Blizzard is, I mean, at the time, I guess it really wasn't uncommon to see games reuse the same assets over and over and over again in order to um, get through the development of a project. Like, how many different... Uh, how many different characters use the same character model, like Uther and all that kind of stuff. Now, Uther is a pretty um, important character as far as the overall story goes, but I guess in terms of this game, he's not really that... Um, not really all that important in terms of this one here. So, he unfortunately gets reused. His character model got reused a whole bunch of times for a bunch of different characters. Our hero has been killed. I've noticed... Seven. Rebuild my boot wagons. Up, oh, they're attacking. Not in large enough numbers, but they are attacking.
Alright, I'm gonna shut the camera down and bring it back once I've rebuilt my forts here. Alright, here we go. Moving on. Just gonna keep a supply of ghouls being built up. So when... Ah, retreat, retreat, retreat! Run away! Run away! Run away! Okay, now attack. <laughs> there we go. Yeah. <laughs> Came in at the same time as an attack. Tread lightly. What is it now? This is more like it. And nobody's getting through this. We'll be okay this time. Tread lightly. Frostmourne hungers. Wow, that healing ability can drop a ghoul in one hit. He's almost down. Sage Truthbearer? He's down. Take it out, damn it. Tread lightly. Must be. What is it? Frostborn hunger. Nah, still quite not quite a completely ass kicking ability death coil is. But it's getting up there. Retreat, retreat, retreat. This is more like Ah, damn it. I was clicking on the wrong character. Arthas is down again. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Fortunately, I do have backup down here. Arthas will eventually res, but until then, I can keep, I can roll forward and destroy these buildings and such. Must be. Feed, then! Geez, I'm, uh, I mean, there's not a huge uh, variety of units that I can construct in this part of the game, so... I don't know, I just keep building a lot of grunts and sending them on suicide missions. A lot of way, grunts aren't a particular... not grunts, ghouls. They're not a particularly uh, good unit. Limited attack, limited range, you have to use some of them for harvesting lumber. It's rather irritating. I should probably take out this barracks. That's what's giving me the headache. I didn't even realize it was up there. You can only eat them once their corpses sort of like settle into the ground a little bit. So 
no barracks up there. Speak, fool. Stop calling me a fool. Fool. 67 of 70 food used. I am certainly good to go. Rush! 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 Tread lightly. Summon more Ziggurats. Frostmourne hungers. Finally. What is it now? Get up there. Tread lightly. Your father ruled this land for 70 years. And you've ground it to dust in a matter of days. Very. Dramatic, Uther. Give me the urn, and I'll make sure you die quickly. The urn holds your father's ashes, Arthas. What? Were you hoping to piss on them one last time before you left his kingdom to rot? <laughs> I didn't know what it held. Nor does it matter. I'll take what I came for one way or another. Tom for a killing. He's got backup. Uh, you Glory know. to the scourge. Arthas will have a very difficult time taking Uther down. Um, on his own because Arthas is only level three and Uther is level ten. Level ten. Powerhouse. But you know, against this, he doesn't stand a chance. Even if he does. We got more waiting. So he's got nothing. He doesn't stand a chance in hell. We got him. We got him. Why was he healing the horses? I hope that there's a special place in hell waiting for you, Arthas. Oh, Arthas is down. He took out Arthas. Holy shit. How many times are you going to die today, buddy? Yeah, kill the horses. <laughs> What's down here? Probably nothing. Though it does seem to go on for quite a while. Kill that guy. About time, Arthas Rez. Get over there. Pick up this garbage. You're on a horse. You're supposed to move quick. I'm not chopping all those trees down. Too bad I can't axe my way through the uh, buildings here for easier access. There we go. Frostborn hungers. Excellent work. Now your journey to Quelts are lost begin. Tell him nothing. Only you can hear me. The dread lords cannot be trusted. They are the Lich King's jailers. I will tell you all when I walk this world. 